Okay, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Marlon. Good evening, Rebecca, Francisco. Hello. Hello. How's it going? Fine, teacher. Great. It's going great. great. It's going great. <laughs> good job. How's the weather around you? A little cold. A little bit cold. Why is it so cold? cold. I don't is know, it because it's raining? It rain on the afternoon? Yeah. Oh my God! Really? Mm -hmm. the whole afternoon, right? It has rained the whole afternoon. Okay, guys, let's go straight to the point. Um, and let's practice yesterday's last topic. Do you remember evaluations and comparisons? No, yes. Evaluations and comparisons. 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 Oh, yeah. Yeah. So how do you do it? Um, yeah, about the comparison using the word as. Well, OK. Yeah, give me because, an example. Um, like, my son is as young as your son. My son is as young as your son. OK. Mm -hmm. Will that be an evaluation or a comparison? A comparison. That is a comparison. Very yeah. good. And are you using adjectives? Yeah. Yeah. Nouns? yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You got it? Good. Rebecca, where are we going? Where are we going? The topic for today. Or what? <laughs> Ah. Because you're ah. here, you're wearing a <laughs> dress and everything. Oh my god! I feel, I no, feel. I had to you go know to what? the office today. No, don't worry. Okay, let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm embarrassed. I should be wearing a tie, you know, teaching you. Yeah, <laughs> because it's Friday, teacher. Okay, and the body knows it. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Great job. Okay. Good. Oh, I wish I could go out, but with this weather, would you like to go out, hang out, have some drinks tonight? With the weather? Maybe to have some drinks, not teacher, but what would you do? Nice. What would you like to do? Francisco, what would you do with this weather? Frank? Okay. <laughs> okay. Hi, Francisco. Okay. Did you study yesterday's topic? Uh, no, teacher. Okay. Good. Let's review really quick, guys, because we have short time. We have to check the midterm exam. Have you checked the platform? Hi, everyone. Hello. Did you check the platform? Did you do the exercises? Yes. Excellent. OK, remember, today we have to finish section number three and the midterm exam. Leave it finished by tonight. So let's see. Let's talk about what comparisions. Class, we'll I'll move on to the chart. Really and we're Great all forward. tight, that's this. we want to make sense of the comparisons that are towards the bottom. We're going to start with... We... Okay, so if as we... Marlon was saying, we have four different ways of making comparisons. Now, the most common one is to use adjectives. We're always using adjectives, whether it is... Sorry, whether it is to make evaluations, you see, or to make comparisons. Okay, <clears throat> so what are the adjectives in these examples? Big, small. Okay, great. Thank you, Marlon. Big, small, continue. Uh, Francisco. What are the adjectives in these examples? Um, I don't see the magic. 
Imagine. You cannot Imagine. see the picture, okay. The image, the image, Erika. Good evening. Good evening. Eh, bien, voy a hacer un paréntesis. Ponga mucho, van a tener problemas de conectividad este día, en especial si tienen el servicio de Claro. So, me parece que Erika no, no se escucha bien o oh, no se le escucha bien. Erika, let's try. Erika. No. Okay, so she's having okay. problems. Uh Ed Yeah, I can hear you, Erika. Go ahead. No. Uh, convenient. Convenient. Very good. Convenient is the adjective, right? Okay. And what about the, the next examples? Edwin, we're using evaluations with nouns. What are the nouns? Or what is the noun here? Apartments don't have enough parking spaces. Apartments don't have enough parking spaces. What is uh, the noun? Mm -hmm. Hello, uh, enough? Mm -hmm. ¿Qué dice el público? No, I mean, I'm sorry, what do you think guys? Es que me acuerdo del sticker de WhatsApp de Don Francisco. Ajá. Excelente, Erika. Yes. Parking, Parking spaces. spaces. Parking spaces. That's the noun. Parking spaces. Enough of something. And that would be just an evaluation, you see? You're evaluating the situation. Apartments don't have enough parking spaces. What else? What's there to say? What's there to say about apartments? What else is there to say about apartments? Eh, les había hecho esa pregunta ayer a ustedes. Se me ha metido en la cabeza mucho últimamente. Okay, in this case, what else is there to say about, in this case, apartments. We're talking about apartments. ¿Les había hecho esta pregunta? Levantame la mano, sí. What's, what else is there to say about? No? Okay. Eh, ¿Qué quiere decir Marlon, Rebeca? ¿Qué más podemos decir acerca de, de eso? Mm -hmm. ¿Qué más se puede decir? Right. ¿Qué más se puede decir? Eh, lo más común es decir, what is there to say about? What's there to say about the weather? ¿Qué se puede decir del clima? What, what, what's there to say about the weather? What's there to say about the president? What else is there to say about? Okay, so what else is there to say about apartments other than that they don't have enough parking spaces? Okay, I'm waiting for an example. Let me see who else is here. We don't have a volunteer. Let's select a victim, German Ramos. Apartment uh, 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 is... Uh... Okay, follow the example, apartment don't have enough or have enough. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, apartments um, don't have, have enough um, Uh, Are you saying have enough? Okay, in that case, yes, you will need to use the verb to be. Apartments are enough comfortable. 
comfortable. I will turn it around. What sounds better? Apartments are enough comfortable or apartments are comfortable enough? What sounds better? Apartments are enough comfortable or apartments are comfortable enough? I think they're uncomfortable, no? Yes, comfortable enough. This is like the best way. Apartments, uh, and I miss the S, apartments are comfortable enough. Okay, good. Let's go with the next example. Houses cost too much money. Which is the noun? What's the noun? Carlos Pineda. Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you. Uh, bien. Let's go with this example. What's the noun in this sentence, Carlos? Houses cost too much money. Carlos? Es como el significado de la el costo de las casas. Okay. Uh, el, okay, ¿qué significa cost? What is the meaning of cost? Sí, sí, los, esa es la duda que tengo. Ajá, el costo. El costo. O sea, las casas. Pues, ¿Verdad que sí? El costo. Uh -huh. Casas. El, el costo monetario. Que... Mm, ok, las casas. Cuestan. Ok, las casas cuestan mucho dinero. Ok, what is the noun, Carlos? Cuesta mucho dinero. Yeah, what is the noun? Yes. What is the noun, Carlos? ¿Cuál es el nombre, Carlos? Estamos viendo no, este, nombres. Esa parte no la, no la comprendo muy bien. Ok, el nombre sería dinero. El nombre sería dinero. Estamos usando evaluaciones con nombres. Acá lo hacíamos con adjetivos. Si algo es grande o algo es pequeño, ahora estamos haciendo evaluaciones con nombres eh, y estamos diciendo que algo no tiene suficiente de este nombre o que algo tiene demasiado de este nombre. Ok. Houses cost too much money. Okay. Good. Let's move on. And last part, comparisons with nouns. Same, very similar. Apartments are, I'm sorry, apartments have just as many rooms as houses. So I'm comparing how many rooms are in the apartments between apartments and houses. Which one has more rooms? Estoy comparando cuál de los dos tiene más cuartos. Rooms or houses. What do you think? Do you think apartments um, have just as many rooms as houses? Can an apartment have just as many rooms as houses? Anybody? Okay, no volunteer. Let's go with Abel and Nilsson. I... <laughs> what do you think, Abel? Do you think that apartments have just as much, uh, as many rooms as houses? Then, and then now. Yeah, here. So apartments have just as many rooms as houses. Los apartamentos yeah. tienen tantos cuartos como las casas. Hmm. The use man. Yes, do they have? Yes. Can you have as many rooms in an apartment as in a house? So, for example, my house has four rooms. Can I have four rooms in an apartment? Mm -hmm. Can I have four rooms in an apartment? Um. Um. 
Okay, no. I don't know. You don't know? Okay. Someone else. Come on, guys. Um, mm -hmm. Let me go with German. German, can we have as many rooms in our house as in an apartment? Uh, excuse me, teacher. Okay. No. Okay. Don't worry. Let, vamos a hacer una cosa, chicos. Veo que varios eh, no se han ubicado aún en este tema. Eh, les voy a decir algo muy importante. En, en inglés es tan fácil como reemplazar partes de una fórmula. Ok. So, la parte en, acá en la que estoy comparando sería o estoy haciendo una evaluación, con adjetivo sería aren't, estoy ocupando adjetivos. Ya identificamos que los adjetivos, el adjetivo aquí sería big. ¿Ok? ¿Qué tan grande? Lo suficientemente grande. Estoy diciendo que no son lo suficientemente grandes. ¿Para quién? Para las familias. Entonces, siguiendo esa fórmula, digamos podría reemplazar a uh, partes de la oración. ¿Con qué? Pues con otros nombres. Podría decir stadiums, los estadios, aren't big enough. ¿Con qué podría concluir en lugar de para, para las familias? Oye, stadiums aren't for people. big enough for people. For Correct. People. For people. What about apartments aren't, I mean, stadiums aren't big enough in El Salvador? Yeah? Mm -hmm. Eso está claro. Okay, good. Los estadios okay. no son lo suficientemente grandes en El Salvador para las personas. Okay. Um, let's go with another example. Pools are too small in my school okay give me another example again just replace what you will not use this is what you will use are too small are too small uh marlon try it Apartments are big enough for families. No, no, no. Okay, replace the oh, parts. No. Okay. Mm -hmm. Are too small. Okay, we will keep just are too small. Yeah, you are too small for me. <laughs> <laughs> That's. <laughs> um. Mm -hmm. um Uh, a chihuahua are too small for a Rottweiler. Okay. okay. A chihuahua is too small for a Rottweiler or chihuahuas uh -huh, or chihuahuas are too small for Rottweilers. Okay. Pluralize yeah, or singular. Very good. Okay. Excellent. Okay. You got it, guys? Abel, can you give me another example, Abel? Apartment have a change apartment. Don't say apartments, don't say for pets. You're just they going to say are too small. For pets. No. Something else. Another. Uh-huh. Another thing. You're just going to use are too small. Too small. Ah, or too small for a uh, mm -hmm. let's say uh, that digamos que quieres tener de mascota un elefante. Uh -huh. Or too small for elephant. Mm -mm. Okay, quieres tener uh, un or, un elefante en tu casa. Mm -hmm. My house are too small. Mm -hmm. For elephants. Se lo digo en español. Mm -hmm. Un elefante es 
perdón, los elefantes son muy grandes para una casa. Un ejemplo, teacher. An example, yeah, Edwin. Uh, cars are, are cars are too small for basketball players. Players. Okay, basketball. I'm sorry. Uh, cars. Some cars. You can even say some. Some cars. Oh, okay. Some are, cars are, are too small. Too small. For, for basketball, basketball players. players. Yes. Some cars are too small for basketball players. Perfect. Uh, like a Mini Cooper, right? You, you will never see Shaquille, Shaquille O'Neal <laughs> driving, a, driving a, a Mini Cooper. That's true. Okay, so you are making a comparison using um, adjectives, okay? Too small, too big, too tall, um, too windy. Okay, good. You can also use negative, don't forget that. Uh, January, well, wait, February isn't too windy or isn't windy enough to rise How do you say Piscuit in English? A kite, kitty, a kitty. A kite, a kite, a kite. Yeah. So I said February is not windy enough to rise a kitty. A kite, I'm sorry, a kite. That's the spelling, a kite. Okay. Did you get it? Febrero es muy, no es suficientemente ventoso para elevar una piscucha. Okay. Questions. Do you have any questions with this subject? Okay, no questions. Good, let me send you this um, chart to your WhatsApp and we're gonna work on this just for the next 10 minutes and then we're going to work on the platform, okay? Do you have any questions? Why are we only 10 in this group? We're typically like 14 or 15 Friday. I know it's Friday, but that's not okay. Friday. Friday is Friday's night. Mm -hmm. so, Saturday is small. <laughs> Okay, let's move on. So if you don't have any questions, I'll split you into small groups. So you can give me five examples or actually four, just give me one example on each one of the topics. So as you noticed, and I'm sending you this to your WhatsApp group. Okay, I'll send you that little chart so you can take a look at it and do the examples. Do you have any questions on what we're doing? Preguntas en lo que vamos a hacer ahorita? No? Okay. Good. So I'm sending you the image. There you have it on the WhatsApp group. Let me split the group right now. One second. Okay, let's go. Thank you. 
Hi, Francisco. Hi, Abel. Oh. Hi, Edwin. Hi, Francisco. Hi, good night. Okay. Exactly, yes. You have to make one example out of each case, for mm -hmm. example. One second. Okay. Number one, uh, the adjective. Uh, for example, uh, my car. Entonces sería tu carro más muy grande. Yes, my car and B. Car and B. No, I sería my car. Ethan. 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 Okay. Maybe. So let me share with you the screen really quick hide this, but I don't know why. Okay, so here you have the examples. You need to set at least one of them. Tienen que crear al menos uno de ellos, okay? Primero vamos a ocupar um, evaluations with adjectives, evaluaciones con adjetivos. Okay? Acá se le dan dos, una con negativo y la otra con positivo. Okay. Yeah. Esa es la, la diferencia, ¿sí? O so, pueden cambiar. Y lo único que van a ocupar acá es ya sea esto, en, neg en, perdón, en negativo, hasta acá, hasta enough. O van a ocupar are too small. Es decir, lo que van a cambiar dentro de esta estructura es únicamente el sujeto. Eh, perdón, perdón, okay. los objetos, los objetos. El sujeto y el objeto. El sujeto, digamos, y el objeto. Okay. Lo único que vamos a ocupar es aren't big enough o are too small. Ojo, aquí se está hablando de un objeto plural usando el verbo to be. Es decir, que tengo que cambiar el verbo to be si voy a hablar de un objeto nada más. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but in my, in my case, my car isn't big enough for me, is correct? Is it correct? My car isn't big enough for me. Correct. Okay. Yes, that is correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, number two, maybe. Mm. 
¿Okay? De nuevo, esa es la partícula que vamos a ocupar de las evaluaciones con adjetivos. De las comparaciones con adjetivos, vamos a ocupar lo mismo. Aren't as, or are just as. ¿Okay? Y de igual manera, vamos a comparar usando as. So, veamos lo que dice. Las casas no son tan convenientes como los apartamentos. Las casas son justo tan convenientes como los apartamentos. Tan como. Justo tan como. This good recommendation. In this case, you're comparing. Estás comparando entre mm -hmm. dos cosas entre las casas ah. y los apartamentos y de ellos está señalando una cualidad qué cualidad está señalando no es conveniente exacto si son convenientes o no uh -huh. Uh -huh. eso es lo que tenés que cambiar o sea cambiar las casas decir que uh -huh. ok uh, podría decir que mercy y mercy is as pretty, okay, as Angelina Jolie. Okay, Angelina Jolie isn't just as, or, I mean, is just as pretty as Mercy. Y vas comparando dos personas, objetos, ya. Hoy sí. Okay. Okay. Entonces vas siguiendo esa esa dinámica de ir reemplazando. Y solo dejando lo que vas a ocupar. ¿Ok? ¿Me puede decir alguno okay. qué es lo que vamos a ocupar de el siguiente, la siguiente parte? Que son evaluaciones con nouns. Con nombres. Don't have a no. Exactly. Very good. So you're going to use don't have enough. Ok. Y. The next is the too much. Too much. Too yeah. much. Okay. Exactly. Don't have enough or have too much or cost too much. Ooh. Esto hasta lo puedes cambiar en have. Okay. Uh, for example, um, a Ferrari. Um, yeah, wait. A Kia Rio 2018 doesn't, ojo con las terceras personas, doesn't spend enough fuel. A Kia Rio doesn't spend enough fuel. El Kia Rio no es suficiente. No gasta suficiente no. gasolina. O combustible. Combustible. Aquí yeah. arriba uh -huh. doesn't spend enough fuel. Mm -hmm. A Lamborghini spends much fuel. Too much fuel. A Lamborghini spends too much fuel. En lugar de cost, estoy ocupando spend. En lugar de have, ocupé spend. Gastar. Ok. Mm -hmm. Okay. Así. Okay. And the last one. Apartments have just as many. So we're going to use just as many as. Otra vez el as. Okay. Don't have as much as. Y en este caso voy a ocupar nouns. Okay. ¿Cuáles son los nouns? Estoy ocupando apartments. Estoy ocupando rooms en este caso. Estoy hablando de los rooms, de la privacidad, ok, cuartos, privacidad, en houses, ok. Good, please pay attention to these details y vamos a seguir haciendo los ejercicios, los cuatro ejemplos que vamos a presentar luego, ok. Ok. Digan el patrón, vean qué es lo que van a eliminar y qué es lo que no dentro de cada oración, ok. Keep going, okay. keep going. Ok. Thank you. Okay, entonces. 
con el primero quedamos con el de make car orange big and no flowers. flowers my garden flowers my garden doesn't have enough flowers mm -hmm. Creo. doesn't have enough flowers doesn't have enough flowers mm -hmm. hey, yeah because uh, it's a noun eh? right. really okay. hi and marlon i will expect from you to i don't know more advanced um adjectives i will expect from you like to use different adjectives even change the ones that you see on the examples Okay. Why mm. us? <laughs> no. Okay. Okay. For example, no. For... in this case, teacher. Uh huh. Go ahead, Rebecca. Yeah. Sorry. Excuse me. No, no. Uh, you are talking about the first one you now, the evaluation with adjectives. Yes. Uh, in any, I mean, I'm talking oh, about okay. just any example that we see, guys. Uh, you have more advanced vocabulary. I have to admit it, and that's good. So what I'm expecting from you is to change, change things, you know. Uh, for example, the streets aren't clean enough. Are big enough for homes? Aren't the, the streets in San Salvador even add more to the context? You see, the streets in San Salvador aren't clean enough for kids. Okay. Yeah. So yes. I will suggest you to go beyond at this point, go beyond, look for more vocabulary or make more extensive uh, sentences. That's my suggestion to you too, because you have a lot of vocabulary at this point. You got it? For example, the streets of my city aren't safe enough for kids. Or you what? got it. Something That's like it. That simple okay. you got it that's right let me see cell phone and samsung cell phones are as efficient as iphones nah really <laughs> uh well some samsung cell phones right yeah i will say some samsung cell phones you know not all of them mm -hmm. let's see i'm just saying Good idea. Okay, my dog isn't as young as my best friend, my best friend dog. Huh? <laughs> my dog isn't as young as my best friend. Mi perro no es tan joven como mi mejor amigo perro. How do you? Right I don't know what. What are you trying to say? My, it's my dog. Oh, what? With an ass dog. El perro de mi de mi amiga o de mi amigo. Oh, my friends. Uh -huh. Apostrophe okay. apostrophe s. Yeah, uh -huh. friends. They're friends. Friends. No, no, no. You were fine. My best friends. Yeah, the apostrophe. Uh -huh. okay. <laughs> So my best friends, there's an apostrophe before the S. Yes. Mm -hmm. There you go. My dog isn't as young as my best friend's dog. Um, parece que el teclado de alguien está en español. Okay. <laughs> yeah, sure, it's my change, keyboard. Change your cell phone, change your computer, everything to English. <laughs> Okay, at is this the point. keyboard that I use for my work? Doesn't matter. You use it, right? <laughs> so when your when your boss comes okay. to your to your desk, when your boss comes to your desk and he goes like, oh, Marlon, why is everything in English? You're gonna go like what? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, I like the way you work. Yes. Keep doing this. You're you're really rocket. German. Yes. How are you? I'm fine. Good. Are you catching up? Are you getting it? Yes, teacher. Perfect. Okay. Learn, practice, practice. Give your own examples. Build your own examples, okay? 
Let's keep going. Go ahead, guys. I'm German here. already gave us some examples. Oh, great. Great. Okay. Yeah, that's why I'm checking. I don't have enough money to go out. Or... Okay. At the weekend. Mm, at weekend. Mm. When you talk about a part of the week, you say on the weekend. On the weekend. Uh, enough. To be on the weekend. To go out on. Yeah. To go out on. Listen. To go out on the weekend. On the weekend. We're on the weekend. Yeah. You could even say this weekend, right? To be more specific. To go out this weekend. To go out on the weekend. Go out this weekend. To go out this weekend. Yep. I don't have enough money to go out this weekend. Okay. Excellent. Cars have just as many tires as pickups. Perfect. Okay, guys, keep going. I'll be right back with you. Okay. Good job. Hey, thanks, teacher. Thank you. Herman, no debe una. Hello. Hey. 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 Hello. Mr. Giovanni, is, is or are? No, is. Is, pardon, is, 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 is our person. Mm -hmm. No sé si tendrán alguna otra. Alguna otra oración con el segundo. Con la segunda comparación. Bueno, el segundo ejemplo. Eh, Erika creo que tiene problemas con la conexión. Por, eh, por ejemplo, de fútbol, soccer, de soccer, uh, de, de soccer player, de uh, eh, fútbol, eh, fútbol en la fútbol normal. Uh, soccer. Ah, ok, de soccer is a, is a, as a, a este, entretenido es a pony es a pony ajá fun al ya pony as uh, full American football in, in American football is American football and soccer is Latin football football yeah ah, por mí por mí a uh, soccer is a uh, Pony does uh, American football. It's more entertaining. It's more entertaining uh, more than. Entertaining. Okay, soccer is more entertaining than football, you will say. Así dirías en inglés. Soccer is more entertaining than football. Para que un americano te entendiese, then. tendría que decirlo así. Soccer uh, is more entertaining than football. Okay. The dog is just as smart as the cat. Bien, chicos, hay que ir reemplazando cada una de las partículas que vemos en la oración. Les decía por ahí, vean. Hay que... Just one second, I cannot write here because you're sharing, but it's okay. So, en esta parte, eh, la primera, apartments aren't big enough for families. Las partículas que voy a ocupar van a ser aren't, Luego el adjetivo y luego enough. Oh. So, podría decir, elephants aren't small enough for houses. Again, elephants aren't small enough for houses. Los elefantes no son lo suficientemente pequeños para una casa. Eh, Lions are too dangerous for kids. Lions are too dangerous for kids. Solo, solo estoy ocupando tú. Nada más. Porque estoy ocupando un adjetivo para hacer una evaluación. Dar mi punto de vista. Ok, I'm sorry. Eh, solo para dar mi punto de vista, estoy ocupando nada más esa partícula, two, okay? ok, so far so good, hasta ahí todo bien, ok, luego con, 
comparaciones con adjetivos, las partículas que voy a ocupar de esos dos ejemplos, houses aren't as convenient as apartments, es lo que está en negrita. ¿Ok? Y de nuevo, I'm sorry. Sí, capitán, eh, ¿no? sí, yo lo grabé, de hecho ese soy yo. <risa> Con los niños. Ok. Comparaciones con adjetivos. Ocuparía nada más el negativo as y luego as de nuevo. Eh, diría elephants aren't as. No, ya no puedo por los elefantes. A ver. Mm, ya, yeah, de hecho sí. Elephants aren't as smart as giraffes. Elephants oh. aren't as smart as giraffes. Los elefantes no son tan inteligentes como las jirafas. No son tan inteligentes como las jirafas. A ver, Giovanni, usemos houses are just as convenient as apartments en el ejemplo que acabo de dar entre elefantes y jirafas. Los mismos houses and apartments. Sería prácticamente lo mismo. Houses aren't as convenient as apartments. Mm, no, la última parte. Houses are just as convenient ah, as okay. apartments. Mm -hmm. Para empezar, houses, apartments, por cualquier otra cosa. Um, sí. Ocupamos el verbo to be en plural porque ese ejemplo, los nouns están en plurales. Houses, mm -hmm. apartments. Mm. El ejemplo que habíamos puesto, por ejemplo, okay. dogs, te voy a ayudar. Are, ajá, ajá. The dogs are just as smart as cats. As cats. Cats, ok. Cats. Uh, no ocupo el artículo al principio, solo digo dogs are just as smart as cats. Dogs are just, just, uh, just as, as smart as as cats cats that's it ahí lo tenemos muy bien eh, vamos a ver Víctor un ejemplo con lo mismo pero voy a comparar a Shakira con Beyoncé oh. <coughs> eh, uy, Shakira is a is a has ok nos saltamos el just Shakira oh, is oh, sorry sorry sorry, yeah, sorry. Uh, Shakira is just as um, beautiful as Beyonce. Perfect. Ahí estamos. Excelente. Very good, guys. Okay. Let me go back to everyone. Let's close the rooms, okay? We'll teacher, see you there. Teacher, teacher, yes? a, a question. What is the difference in the, in, between uh, evaluation with adjectives and evaluation with nouns? Okay, evaluations with adjectives and evaluations with nouns. Okay, eh, vamos a ver. Uh, evaluaciones con adjetivos ocupo big, small, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Y con nouns estoy ocupando parking lots y money. Es, hay, donde, aquí no hay adjetivos. Estoy diciendo de que los apartamentos no tienen suficiente. Y aquí estoy diciendo de que los apartamentos son, o no son, perdón, lo suficiente grandes, ¿ok? Vamos, evaluaciones con adjetivos. Los apartamentos no son de esta característica, no cumplen con esa característica. En cambio, al evaluar con nouns, estoy diciendo que no tienen ese noun, ese nombre. En el caso de parking lots, parking spaces, I'm sorry, y money. Esa es mi evaluación para eh, decir que puedo evaluar la cualidad de un objeto o eh, cuantificarlo, ver qué cosas sí tiene, qué cosas no tiene en cuanto a lo, al aspecto físico, digamos, y en cuanto a cómo es. Es el primer ejemplo. Con adjetivos digo cómo es, con nombres digo lo que él tiene o le sobra. Según estos dos ejemplos, ¿sí? ¿Hoy sí? Uh, sí, hoy sí, ya. Yeah. <laughs> ok. Yeah. It, 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 but, uh, different that. Yeah. There is a difference. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very but, good. 
Yes, the difference is that at the, uh, the, 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 for example, this, the, for example, the house, uh, 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 do, do have, you know, uh, fear. Windows. A, a big fear or one window. Mm -hmm. Excellent, very good. The house, I mean, houses don't have uh, enough windows, for example. Houses don't have enough windows. Or you can say how uh, apartments uh, use too much electricity. Apartments use too much electricity, for example. Porque un apartamento necesita una secadora, ¿verdad? Sí. Yeah, so apartments use too much electricity. Okay, let's go back. Let's go back to everyone. Buenas noches. Okay. Good guys. Bien, vamos a cerrar con ver la plataforma por un momento. Aquí está, ok. Bien, súper rápido me voy a mover a través de la plataforma para que comprendamos lo que hay que hacer o lo que debe de quedar terminado. Para esta noche. Ok, so, oh. Aún este, este tema, perdón, me clavé con ustedes con esto de um, comparisons with adjectives and nouns. De nuevo, suele de reemplazar partes ¿no? de las oraciones que se, de, se les presentan como ejemplos. Eh, la última parte es to use wish plus past tense to refer to present wishes, expressing wishes. Y si seguimos el ejemplo que se nos brinda en el video, I live with my parents. Dicen, I wish I didn't live. I wish I had my own apartment. Eh, de nuevo, procuren reemplazar partes de cada oración. ¿Ok? Eh, ¿Por qué? Pues básicamente lo único que vas a reemplazar acá sería los verbos en su forma presente o su forma pasada. ¿Ok? Si digo, I wish I had my own apartment, que sería tener mi propio apartamento. No estoy diciendo de sería haber tenido, sino de sería tener. Uh -huh. I can move out. Yo no puedo mo mudarme. Ojo, mudarme. I wish I could move out. Desearía poder mudarme. Entonces, estudien esta parte. Quiero aterrizar nada más y lo vamos a repasar esta última parte de Wishes. How to express wishes on el lunes. Eh, para cerrar esta sesión, solo quiero enfatizar en que para esta noche debemos haber terminado estos ejercicios, el 3.2, el 3.5, el 3.8 y luego, si se está, si está viendo la pantalla, van a dar clic en Next y tendrán el Knowledge Check, el Midterm de la sección 3. Que va por partes. Tenemos, no sé si se alcanzan a leer. Ok, va cada una de las partes. Tengo listening, use the past tense, vocabulary, use to, word order, indirect questions, and reading and comprehension. So, el listening está súper fácil. Escuchas el listening. Ok. And then you go selecting options. Tom grew up in. San Francisco, Japan, and San Diego. Después de escuchar el audio, vas seleccionando cada uno. Then you go with the past tense. Ok. Where? Está bien fácil, por favor. Where was you born? Solo acuérdense que para la primera persona, ok, y las terceras personas, o sea, I, he, she, it, voy a ocupar el singular was. You with a sería where. 
plural, plurales, ocupo where. Ok. And so on. Did, recuerden que con el auxiliar del pasado, el verbo vuelve a su forma base. Ok. Y ojo con las instrucciones en la plataforma. Por favor, lean las instrucciones. Acá dice, complete the conversation. Use the past tense and make sure to not use or make sure to not use or use capital letters when necessary. Ok, asegúrate de no ocupar o de ocupar mayúsculas, capital letters, cuando sea necesario. Ten cuidado con las capital letters. Son tres nada más. Ok. Then we go with vocabulary. Every summer, Sam used to go to the... ¿Qué sería? Beach, paint, or soccer ball. ¿Alguien? Beach. Beach, right? Todos lo aterrizaron súper rápido. Ok. ¿Ves? I really enjoyed playing. Scrapbook, bicycle, chess, when I was a teenager. Okay. Yes. Yes. To be. Oh. Ahora, algo importante, chicos. No tengan miedo a equivocarse. Pueden hacer cada examen, cada ejercicio, cuantas veces sea necesario. ¿Ok? ¿Recuerdan? Did you used to? Tengo el auxiliar presente. El verbo ya está en su forma base. ¿Ok? Aquí sería la respuesta nada más. Did you used to play basketball when you were in high school? ¿Y aquí cómo sería? ¿Alguien? The same. The same. Ok. Solo eso voy a poner porque ya, ya está todo lo demás. No necesito reescribir esto. Explico. Did you used to... Oh, me faltó el tú. Okay. Did you used to... A ver... No lo tomó porque está fallando. Okay. Bien, paciencia con la página web. Eh, probablemente les dé algún errorcito, pero si es así, me escriben. Aquí voy a estar yo pendiente por una hora más. Ok. Go part by part. Vamos parte okay. por parte. Cuidado con lo que escriben. Cuidado con la, el apóstrofe. Si ocupan algún apóstrofe, en los teclados siempre hay dos opciones para el apóstrofe. Mi recomendación es. Si tenés dudas con el apóstrofe, abre otra página y pone apóstrofe. Ok, y lo copias de alguna palabra que veas que tenga el apóstrofe. Acá, por ejemplo, don't. Lo copias y lo pegas en la página, ok. Ok. If you have any questions, let me know. Tienen que llegar hasta el reading and comprehension de el midterm exam de la sección 3. Good night. I'll see you tomorrow. 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 Right. Tomorrow. Right. Right. Tomorrow. Monday. Monday, teacher. Monday, teacher. Ah, estoy despierto, Baba. Ya volví, ok. Monday, teacher. Usted está dormido. Ok, ya. Yeah. Good night. Good night. Good night, guys. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.